hello everybody welcome to the channel how are you doing to so my subscribers out there i hope you are doing okay and if you are watching this video from whichever part of the world you are watching the video i hope you are doing okay today my name is Lube. welcome to the channel it's nice to have you so i'm really sorry i've not been releasing videos for the past few weeks due to one or two problems i had but i'll make sure i'll do more of those videos from now on so i'm doing this video in regard to one of my subscribers that said i should do a video about prostate cancer some of the things you could do to avoid prostate cancer and then for the female if you are a woman and you're a female and watching this video it is also important for you because you can recommend this to your partner or maybe a relative or that you know so that they can avoid these things the earlier the better so back in the days prostate cancer was not that common but in today's world, you discover that it's very common. You know, you get to hear that a lot, prostate cancer, prostate cancer. So if you're a female, you'll be wondering, what is this prostate cancer? Because it only affects male. Why is it that it only affects male? Because the male reproductive system has a particular gland, which is the prostate gland. It is only located in the male anatomy or in the male body. The female do not have a prostate gland. That's why the prostate cancer occurs only in male. So now, geopolitical variations will also come in, in the sense that the Western countries experience more of this uh, prostate cancer compared to African, African countries. But then in today's world, you will notice that it has broken the chart. Most of the things that were impossible today, it's possible. So you might even see a situation where some part of the African countries might even have, when you compare the ratio, might have it more in terms of the prostate cancer compared to some other Western countries. It happened like that. But the overview is what are those things you can do to avoid prostate cancer? Because sometimes it occurs mostly in men who are aging. So if you are approaching your old age, that's when you have you are more prone or more uh, risk at having this prostate cancer. So I'll just emulate three things you can do in order to avoid prostate cancer in the future. So the number one thing is exercise. Whenever we talk about exercise, whenever you hear exercise to people who don't find it that interesting or don't have the motivation to do it, sometimes it sounds boring or difficult or tiring or it sounds so, you know, just, it's not something you want, you don't want to do. Of course, you know it's beneficial for you, but you don't just have the enough motivation because you know it's hard, right? But imagine this. Imagine if, if you can reflect back, there was a time you had a very difficult task to do. Right, so over time, you before you could com accomplish that task, you you had to go through you so much stress. You know, you were sweating, thinking, doing a lot of things. But how is that feeling like when you finally accomplish that task? How is it like? You know that it feels good, right? So it's the same thing when it comes to exercise. Exercise alone does not help you from, you know, prevent you from developing prostate cancer. It also helps you from other many health-related issues. If you are doing exercise, it's more like killing many birds with one stone. This one is not even two birds. With one stone. It's like killing as many as possible. Because not only your prostate, not only are you preventing prostate cancer, you're also helping your body to prevent itself from other health complications that might occur. So that could be a bonus one. When we say exercise, when I say exercise, I'm not saying you should sleep in the gym. Most people think that when they say exercise, it means you have to be going to the gym sleeping. No, you don't have to be like bodybuilders. You just have to do basic, you just have to make sure that your body gives out that energy. And some people, they have their own type of work, or maybe their, their own type of daily activities requires them to be sedentary, like to have a sedimentary lifestyle. They sit all day. I'm talking about people who mostly are, bankers you know just having to sit down one place for money till night sometimes they might not have that time but you just have to choose a particular time maybe twice in a week or three times a week four times a week depending on your work schedule you just have to make sure that within a week you are able to exercise you can do 30 minutes juggling you can do walking like 40 minutes just walk you don't have to do any extra work just walk trek just walk and walk and walk for 30 minutes and that's it it will help you a lot and then over time, not only from the prostate cancer perspective, it will help you from so many other, you know, um, diseases in the body which you might prevent and it might save you a lot from whichever cause. And then another thing you also have to avoid is some eating habits. Some foods are not really, you know, they have triggers. I did a video about cancer, only cancer. And then I made mention of the fact that cancer 
has some particular genes in the body right as a normal human being you have those particular cells in the body but they on themselves by themselves not on themselves cannot generate the cancer they need like a trigger they need something to trigger it like alcoholism they need um, some habit you know some drugs you know some toxins in the body they can trigger these cancer cells to start you know developing and expanding so you could avoid some of these habits like drinking habits alcoholism you know some of the drugs like many nicotine cocaine some of these hard drugs you know heroin and many you could just go on and on to mention them you know you just have to make sure you avoid them to some people they might find joy in doing it and maybe even after abusing these drugs they might not develop this some of this prostate cancer but they might still have other health related complications but what we are saying here what i'm saying here is body variations differs right so what works for you or what cannot work for you might work for another person but you don't have to gamble that because your health is still your world you just have to protect yourself because some of the things you ignore some of those little little things you ignore sometimes pile up and become a plague later in your life and then you start wondering where is this coming from da, 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 da. and the third one is masturbation yes i know masturbation i have said it many people will be excited yeah they, i can masturbate and it will help me you know but let's be honest who will really come out and say i'm proud of masturbation like of course it does not have any particular research has not research has not shown that masturbation has is injurious to the head per se so nobody can actually come out and say yeah masturbation they, they can't really be proud of it even if they do it so religiously masturbation is bad right because the, the religious leaders see it, according to the Bible, they believe that when you see or when you have these images or see people having sex, it does equally you having sex through your imagination. And so that is like drawing you away or like departing away from God, which is bad in the eyes of God itself. So religiously, masturbation is bad. So if you fall in under the category or if you are strongly into the religious aspect of life, then you also have to avoid masturbation and just keep to the other two. There are many other uh, things I can also bring up, you know, to actually help you in terms of not just exercise and eating habit, but those are just the, the two most important with this third one also. Things you can do to prevent it, right? So I might still bring some food types or some, you know, home remedies that can help you to avoid uh, prostate cancer. So under masturbation, if you don't fall under the category or if you are not into the religious type, whether masturbation is bad, do not do it. Avoid it. But if you are not into that category, you could go with the masturbation but just know that you can't still be proud of it so in as much as masturbation can be seen bad it does not have any injurious head to the body that is just like a, a part of the prostate gland uh, prostate cancer prevention that you could say okay it helps in this you know just i'm just giving the preventive measures or things you can do in order to save you or kind of reduce the risk of you having prostate gland so thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel, subscribe, hit the like button. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. When I release another video like this, you can follow up.